and we are live hello everyone hi chat uh i hope that we are not late i see a couple of late ops i, I see a couple of uh waiting for one minutes better late or on time mayank hi sunit not late op we are absolutely on time i have i have the watch in front of me uh hi himanshu hi shrinivas hi aditya hi everyone so nice of you all to be here uh i was afraid that we will procrastinate on on this topic but i'm glad that we are on time uh a quick hello to uh my guests sanat fatak hi welcome back to the channel and amrita welcome for the first time i'm so glad to have you here thank you thank you how are you guys we're good we're good all well awesome um the so can you just uh, sanat i think that people already know you a little bit so i'm going to start with amrita first amrita hi and can you introduce yourself to the chat just tell us about yourself a little bit so that we know who you are <laughs> sure uh, hi everybody my name is amrita arulraj i am from bombay i am a user experience designer or a ux designer hmm. which means that i design apps and websites uh i work with an e-commerce brand and that's that's my day job and besides that i'm a dancer and a calligraphy artist wow and uh, i'm also very thankful that i'm here today yay okay that is a lot so oh, i'm you... also i'm also an avid uh, procrastinator <laughs> that's the reason why you're here that's yeah. your qualification for being yeah. on the show yes. today <laughs> that's my certificate and uh, sanat uh, hi can you just say hi to the chat please hi chat how is everyone <laughs> <laughs> well all right then dr sanat so I'm, some some people know I'm, you miss I'm nonchalant list, sir. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're procrastinating on your introduction please do it properly yeah. okay so i am a friend of siddarth so i've been here before yeah. um i am an immunologist um <laughs> I wish I had a list of things to say there like I'm what's your day I'm job and night job <laughs> my night I wish I had a night job oh god I'm feeling very uh, this is a family stream you <laughs> 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 know um yeah. for okay I'm very very feeling very inadequate sorry <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. We'll uh, we'll come to all your hidden talents as the stream goes on. Uh, so today, the chat was really excited. I mean, since I put out this uh, topic, and actually since we've started talking about neuroscience, the one recurring theme apart from dreams was this one: procrastination. Like, talk about procrastination. What is the neuroscience of procrastination? And uh, so, like every other topic. I start by thinking, "Ha, ye mujhe thoda baat idea hai." Like I know it, and then I start reading, and then I realize that, "Oh my God, there is so much more in this than I thought." And so, what was supposed to be like a topic that I'll do next week became like two months later. But I finally decided, "Okay, this is never going to end." So I'm just going to talk about whatever I have read so far, and I wanted to hear just stuff about how you guys deal with it, what you go through it, and. That's it really. That's the topic for today. Yeah, does that work? Yeah. Awesome. Uh okay, now as always we are going to make a quick detour to look at everybody's um volumes. I hope that okay, my volume is high. Okay, so it's that's the first. Uh first time that my volume is too high, usually it's too low. Uh oh, is it because I got a pop filter? Wow, this thing really works. So yeah. I got a pop filter for the first time, so it's making my uh, voice pop. Okay, I hope that my voice is better now. And uh, Namisha is saying all good. Cinderella is saying all good. And Shrinivas is saying everyone's volume is fine. Awesome. We are good to go. Good to go. All right, everyone. How badly is how badly has procrastination ruined your life? Or I have to think of a superlative for that. Really, <laughs> it's, it's really, really bad. Okay, tell me something about it. Tell me what what is what happens when you think about procrastination. 
uh, it just makes me feel like a really lazy and okay. uh, unmotivated person, which I'm not. I know that. Mm-hmm. But it's just, I mean, the need to chill in the moment. Yeah. Way bigger than the the final goal, you know, just the foresight versus what's now, and it's just just been a constant battle throughout school, college, everything. Since you can remember, it's always been yeah. now versus later. Yeah, last minute studies is like, I mean, that's that's a way of normal. life. Normal, yeah, that's a way yeah. of life. और कोई तरीका ही नहीं है पढ़ने का यू नॉट स्टडी वाइल बीइंग नर्वस एंड लाइक आउट अबाउट द एग्जाम नेक्स्ट या एंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हैव यू स्टेड अप ऑल नाइट टू स्टडी फॉर एन एग्जाम सो लाइक आई Okay, so procrastination and laziness makes for a great combination. For well, yeah, <laughs> let's say that. <laughs> All right, but you're here. You've made it so clearly. We are over. Like we are over worrying about the problem. It's fine. Yes. All right, good. So that that's a great take home message right from the start, guys. It's okay. Amrita has made it, so can you. It's all alright. Like if everybody is going through, then it's fine. If everyone is dying at the same time, then it's fine. Like that. Yeah. I like that. Gives me comfort. Correct. If I'm not the only one, then it's okay. Correct. You should be like there should be socialism in procrastination. Like everybody has yeah. to do a bit of it. Correct. It's great when a friend tells me that they're going through some shit. But I'm like, <laughs> wow, great. Me too. Perfect. Excellent. So that is that is what we are doing. We are doing a social yeah. service. We are telling everybody that okay, this is what we are going through. Yeah. Sanad, what is what is your story with procrastination? Yeah, I've started to like it now. I think. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's it's going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it frees up a lot of my time. I feel when okay. I think about it. and okay mm, so there are certain things that i clearly procrastinate about mm-hmm. and there are certain things that i will I probably never find myself procrastinating about um, such as such as mm, such as uh, say reading reading something that i really am interested in mm-hmm. i don't think i'll procrastinate about it okay i mean even the thought won't cross my mind that um you know just let me do this later right you'll so think of it and you're doing yeah, it right hmm. and then there are some things where i just i mean i would be perfectly happy never doing them at all but if i have right. to do them at least concentrate them towards the end of whenever they are required <laughs> like the absolute last minute like amrita said yes so, okay yeah it's clearly a it's clearly a dichotomy of Hmm. So no. some things you procrastinate, and some yeah. things it's not even a problem. Yeah, it it doesn't yeah. occur. Okay. Right. So you're not consistent in your procrastination. You're very yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, terrible. <laughs> Is there so, one thing that one needs? One could have been good at. <laughs> you're not even consistent in that. Huh. The idea. Uh, so when I started reading about procrastination, one of the first things I uh, read was the meaning of the word itself, and it's so mm-hmm. fascinating that the word procrastination itself means uh so procrastinate in latin is uh leave for tomorrow oh so it's oh. pretty <laughs> the so idea is pro and yeah. leaving it for yes. tomorrow <laughs> Yes. That's uh, pretty much exactly. Oh my god. That's yeah. exactly what it means that they are like really good at kal dekhenge. <laughs> yeah. So whatever it is that uh, whatever problem you are going through if you are leaving it for tomorrow that is what the old latin guys did and 2000 10000 years later we are still uh, yeah, yeah. talking about iska kya kare so did they all, did they also think of it as a bad thing so or did they just uh, defined it and left it at that they defined it they they what they uh, talked the way they talked about it was this is just a thing that people do ha huh. that's it like, there was no it wasn't placed somewhere on the virtuous hierarchy somewhere low on the virtuous hierarchy not I mean, that it wasn't a no it wasn't latin uh, uh, it no, wasn't a cardinal uh, sin or anything yeah yeah so latin mothers didn't tell their children to do things on the day latin maybe they did yeah, latin mothers sound <laughs> anti procrastination maybe that was a yeah. thing but uh, yeah. the idea is that today it's definitely considered a bad thing yeah yeah there is no doubt that uh, 
until of course like uh, teenage angst made it cool to like, yeah, yeah i'm i'm a procrastinator maybe I, i mean i've come across a few you know people. why since you were a teen i think because i don't <laughs> Ouch. think, I think it's that is not cool. to be said on this <laughs> yeah we, uh, amrita will be editing that out we are <laughs> this is live said <laughs> oh no, damn it <laughs> right so yeah. when uh, there is no doubt that right now nobody thinks of procrastination as a good thing it's uh, it's a problem uh, how much they consider it a problem is different but it's definitely yeah. a problem yeah so uh, they they did a lot of studies on this basically on finding out how bad is the problem how severe and uh, what they found was that at least 30% of the population identified as chronic procrastinators and as soon as they cut that population down to college students it went up to 80% Oh. So all call out of all college students uh, 80% of them said that yes we procrastinate now uh what does that mean so when you think about that does that make any sense uh, why should it be like that why should it be that college students feel that they're procrastinating so much more and uh once you're out of college and once you're in your everyday life it doesn't seem to make as much Uh, impact um one of the reasons i can think of is that uh, our education system is such that a yeah. lot of the stuff that you learn in college could be stuff that you don't actually want to learn yeah so if you have to learn it and mug it up for an exam or whatever it's yeah. very likely that you're going to leave it for the end right perfect yeah, yeah. So that could be one reason yeah the when even when i read it the first thing that came to me was the first learning to learn Uh, exactly so, so the idea of how forced forced um, learning yeah and you're learning things that you don't know why you are learning it exactly so yeah. as soon as you don't know why you're learning something uh, it's much more difficult to convince yourself that this is important so the idea of procrastination itself now like what is procrastination we all instinctively seem to know but yeah. what is it according to you Like what is it that you do when you say that yeah i procrastinate what exactly is it that you do uh sanat i think oh sorry oh okay yeah. so um i mean it's often not registered it's mm-hmm. often not um registered while you're doing it um often you often i may not even recall what i did when i was not doing something that i was supposed to do uh-huh um, but mm-hmm. um i mean basically not doing something that i was supposed to do and then keeping that something that i was supposed to do for later later that, that that's basically what it is. that's pretty much and when you are doing that yeah are you aware that this is a bad thing yeah some sometimes i am um no so uh, let's just say firstly am i aware that it's happening Hmm. So sometimes if I am engaged in something which I feel is more important hmm. then I may not even be aware that I am procrastinating when in fact I am mm-hmm. and uh, in such cases I feel that I don't think it's a bad thing example I'm ta- yeah I'm tackling something give me an example important. okay so um yeah so so I mean let's say that you have you you have an exam to study for in a month yeah uh you have a daily timetable that you done you had um something written down for today yeah. um which was supposed to be done yeah. uh, i mean which you, you had a to chapter do. to finish yeah correct hmm. and uh, say i wanted to come on stream here and wanted to read about procrastination right uh, obviously what i was supposed to do was the exam got left out yeah but i did read for this Huh. and um i didn't even realize that or uh, i didn't feel bad much that uh, whatever the chapter that i was supposed to do didn't get done right that kind of thing correct but if i um you know scroll instagram or sit on facebook and then don't um study for your chapter up, correct then i do feel bad then you do feel okay So, so it depends uh, on what I'm doing. Quality of your <laughs> the quality of your procrastination also makes a difference. Yes. Excellent. All right, uh, Amrita. Um, 
what is procrastination for you what do you do when you are procrastinating i am so uh, to refer to what sanat just said like if he is reading for this stream instead of studying he's not just procrastinating the study he's also doing something valuable for this stream right mm-hmm. so you can't think of it as not doing that other thing you mm-hmm. are doing some other valuable thing also whereas with instagram and facebook the other thing you're doing is invaluable lovely so i don't think uh, you're right. in the first case i don't think you're procrastinating at all because mm. you're you are doing something else wonderful for me procrastinating oh, are, is when i'm doing something yeah. useless okay interesting but you are still take going away you are away. still procrastinating because you are not doing what you were supposed to do or you what you were planned but you are also supposed to read for the stream right it's sure, not like you came, didn't have yeah. to do that hmm. yeah hmm but that so came later was, yeah that it was later. probably huh. lesser in priority but hmm. it was still on your list hmm. versus yeah. like binging on a netflix show may not be on your yeah. list so that Very cool. could count as procrastinating in my head yes i i love what you just said okay. because you introduced two really really important words uh <laughs> one you said valuable and uh so we are going to get back to this but the idea of value is inherent like it is intrinsic to this whole concept of exactly. procrastination i have a bunch right. of questions also yeah i'm yeah. sure <laughs> and as soon as you say value we are putting a parameter for comparison so then it becomes what is more valuable what is less valuable mm-hmm. so i love it that you introduced that we are going to get back to it one thing i wanted to ask was while you are procrastinating the conventional idea of procrastination is that you are doing something that is uh, not very useful right so you think of it in terms of binary you have one useful thing you should be doing and then yeah. you don't do that for something else and that something else is usually not useful mm-hmm. or less useful and traditionally when we talk of procrastination while you are procrastinating people tend to know if even if they don't accept it at that moment because that is where later on the guilt comes in exactly mm-hmm. every time so because yes. if you are doing something super useful you are going to be less guilty but Correct. the reason that you feel guilt is because you kind of know ki ha ye yeah. nahi karna chahiye tha mujhe and you still end up doing it yeah. and then you get sort of stuck in a loop yeah what are the most uh, how do you procrastinate what do you do the the evil the commonest evils <laughs> we're all sitting in that l shape and scrolling through instagram with our double chin at the we're all yeah <laughs> that, that's number one. That is number one. Social media is yeah, number one. Media. Yeah. Yeah. And then from Instagram to Facebook, then hmm. yeah. Then back to Instagram. That that shift. And happen. Twitter, if you are uh, unlucky enough to be. YouTube <laughs> also these. And days. YouTube Now, also because of all these live streams. Yeah. And, yeah. I have become yeah. a fan of these live streams. So annoying. So annoying. And the most annoying thing about social media is that by the time you finish scrolling your Instagram feed. and instagram sometimes tells you you're all caught up and you feel I like the sense of shame like oh my god I've... it's so embarrassing i've seen everything there is to see <laughs> like there is nothing else that the internet has to offer me and the frantic <laughs> pull to refresh that happens after that you know <laughs> like, can't be true <laughs> <laughs> say it and so show me more <laughs> and i swear i have uh, and then of course you can cycle through the same app or you can cycle through different apps so that you know that by the time you come back after 15 20 minutes it will be all new yeah. but you're just like yeah. cheating yourself you know that's what you're doing it is i have found myself uh swiping an app away like closing the app and opening the same app yes <laughs> just because oh, i forgot what? which app was the last one i closed yeah yes a lot of people do that oh my god yeah so then I'm so that's, glad that that's one thing that I do. That yeah. I'm so okay. Um, okay. We're dealing with a professional has, here. Huh? That, yeah. That's just the first thing I do. Yeah, okay. I have a long list. <laughs> What else do you do? So this one hack that I've recently developed is I'm trying to learn an instrument. 
Okay. But it's not like a big deal in my head. Like hmm. I'm not doing it for a certain goal. I just I bought a ukulele. I just oh, purchased nice. it. Yeah. So now every time I want to not do something, I instead pick that up and like start strumming or whatever. So I think that I'm practicing the ukulele. <laughs> yeah. And I'm learning the ukulele, which is fine. I don't feel guilty about that. Yeah. So that's what I do now when I want to practice. All right. Okay. Uh, somebody has said eating is a way of procrastinating which oh god i don't even want to i mean it is for me let's sometimes there, yeah. yeah but let's not go there <laughs> just <laughs> i mean for sure um yeah sanat what, what is your pet procrastination peeves yeah social media is one but sometimes yeah. it just um, sometimes it just absolutely nothing i mean it's just Hmm. sitting or <laughs> <What>? standing looking <laughs> what <laughs> what are you tree or oh god i thought i thought we were here to support each other okay sorry <laughs> yeah yeah even i'm standing and sitting and <laughs> yeah. whatever okay, right. procrastinators anonymous going on <laughs> which is so not anonymous <laughs> i know it's the opposite of procrastinators anonymous yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically do nothing i mean that's a common theme in my procrastinating <laughs> like you just stop <laughs> Yeah, yeah, completely. That must feel next level guilty. Yeah, yeah. Like, just not, <laughs> not do anything. Absolutely. I love I mean, it. There's not, there's, wow. You can't even tell yourself that I looked at some aesthetic beauty in, on Instagram and yeah. it's been. That's yeah. a dark place. <laughs> like, exactly. People. But I'm still in the, I'm still in the L shape of of Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, At least the physical posture is the same. People, uh, people sleep, which is, I guess, in a way, it's healthy. I don't know. It's it's good. Sleep is not bad at all. Yeah, like so. Sleep is probably the best way to procrastinate. It's just yeah. sleep. It's fine. Yeah. Because that's literally like shutting off your yeah. computer, right? Like if you don't want to use it, just shut it off. Yeah. Just go yeah. to sleep. Why keep running it? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's one way to look at it. What? instead what we do is we go on this overdrive because we don't want to appear useless ah oh, correct and so you sort of convince try to convince yourself that you're doing something useful yes and not just one thing we try to convince ourselves we're doing multiple useful things yeah. so it's not enough that you are you have a textbook open in front of you you need your laptop which has like multiple tabs you need your phone which is going like showing multiple things Message, you're chatting yeah. with five people and you are cycling through so many things and your brain i think what happens is goes on this i am so accomplished right now i am getting <laughs> so much done right now look at me guys my brain does not do no, that it i doesn't. don't know about yours no oh, mine does yeah yeah <laughs> i feel under- definitely Yeah no I don't feel guilty I feel I feel damn like you know how you have I feel like a DJ when you have like all those things and you're yeah. just mixing up It does happen <laughs> Oh my god that visual <laughs> Yeah like I have a uh, when I have a lot of things going on even if I'm getting nothing done and every every chat is like hey what why are you too busy we can chat later I'm like no no <laughs> we can <laughs> chat <laughs> No, no. I think myself into believing that I am doing something productive. Please keep talking. It's it's procrastination overdrive, dude. Like it's uh yeah. You're procrastinating on your procrastination. Hmm. It's like inception. I mean, yeah. That's it's very meta. It's very meta. And, very meta, yeah. Uh. So as students. uh i think that we deal we relate with procrastination the most in terms of exams yeah like that's that's the thing like uh, yeah maine pehle padhai kyun nahi kiya uh, yeah exam ke ek din pehle and uh un- until there comes a point where you realize that okay you know what like this is the only time i can study <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, i if i need that panic i need that yeah sense yeah. of uh urgency to get it and one thing that interested me was how do you think i don't know like this is just something that crossed my mind do you think that when you're studying in a panic and uh you give the exam and then you get like an above average result hmm. in your mind you can sort of justify it like feel even better because you studied last minute and uh you got this much 
a positive Please feedback. Describing yeah. the entire school life. Oh God! What okay, I, this none of this is personal. I'm just thinking out loud here. The personal attacks. Where I did not. Stop <laughs> No, but then I, I've I've realized that I do this. Um, you know, like yeah. you sort of justify that. Itne padne se agar itna mila hota, itna mila yeah. to, to yeah. just imagine if I had studied all month. Kaha se kaha like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is procrastination does that. Also, how when you're procrastinating and you're. just before the exam and you're trying to study is when you get the best ideas like the best ideas like i should write a book or <laughs> i should write a song how <laughs> really is, i don't space. get those is that just me hey, come on yeah. no way no way no like you you feel like watching a foreign film you feel like i should really expand my horizons no okay hey, these medical exams seem like they're easier than people say what <laughs> okay <laughs> seriously i don't get any am i the only one i don't believe this please i am the whole sure. point of studying in a panic is that there's no time for you to get distracted yeah. and you just get shit done yeah. correct so exactly. but that is like the last day but like okay think of it like a week before and you're not a procrastinator at all because the last day is when the real magic happens <laughs> All right then moving on I feel attacked now okay <laughs> I don't know like I have I have I have written down the most incredible things to do just before like the exam and thinking that bus and then as soon as the exams yeah, are over we're waiting for the exam to get over yeah and then two months of summer exactly. vacation correct I'll change yeah. the world and then nothing <laughs> this <laughs> zero output I went to hobby classes like normal children <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you Sena <laughs> I don't know man all my vacations were in uh, were in Kerala I was just like learning swimming in the pond and stuff <laughs> So okay that is sort of about no, procrastination so I would say I mean um, just touching on this like I would think one procrastinates to not do these things like not think of other things and like yes, sort yeah. of come concentrate all your focus on that thing or um, say the exam in that mm-hmm. one day No, but then you are when you are procrastinating. There is one villain, like one thing yeah. you want to go away from, and it doesn't really matter what you are going towards, right? Like it could be anything. Like your procra, your focus is sort of on what you are going away from. So if it's the exam, as long as I'm not studying for the exam, it doesn't matter what social media app I'm on or who I'm chatting with or what book I'm reading, or is that not yeah. like that? No, I didn't get that. I mean. If there's no exam, then there is no procrastination. Also, the concept in itself is gone. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, where your attention shifts is less important than what your attention is shifting away from. So the exam is your yeah is is sort of yeah. like the main thing. The main thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean that's sort of like how I look at it because uh, I've realized that when I'm avoiding studying, I have fun doing anything else. like that thing doesn't matter yeah. so much as long as i'm not studying yeah that's true i don't know amrita seems to have a very different equation with this whole what are you, what are you what are you thinking uh yeah no i'm just trying to wrap my head around what's more important and what's not hmm. I mean, so yeah, like I mean, you I focus on like the distraction more Yeah, I, okay. I do. That's interesting. That's actually. why I'm doing it. Interesting. Right? Okay. Because at that moment, that's more interesting than studying. Lovely. Okay. Like okay. if I if I had to choose between uh, two kinds of distraction, yeah. I'm going to go with the one that's more interesting because I want to do that, not just because it is wow. a distraction. Wow. That's amazing. So that's so that's sort of like uh, how I feel it should be because that's like very it's like a very mindful way of. like physically or like uh knowing that your attention is shifting rather than sort of like an escapism which is yeah. how it is for um i think me and i think a lot of people maybe i don't maybe know. yeah cool yeah. all right you I haven't had a panel discussion about <laughs> now you are so now i am <laughs> we all should uh let's get to the interesting bit i mean mm-hmm. this was also interesting but let's get to the uh bit that we can actually do something about why Why does why does why it happen? Do mm. Why do we procrastinate? What do you think, Sanat? Mm. 
so as i said to uh, minimize the kind the time that you spend on something that you have to do hmm. and make it more so to bring i mean let's just say let's just boil it down to bringing in more efficiency um so can say, you explain basically if you want to study for something and you're going to study for four hours every day and instead you um, study for 12 hours on one day hmm. um the day before the exam yeah. then you have six days free to do more <laughs> things so right. i mean you um, net effect is you're being more efficient with your life excellent mm, wow. but uh if you can uh get away with it Yeah. Then it sounds really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because you need to know yourself well enough to know that okay, uh this much I can compress in 12 hours and get away with it. Yeah. Probably what happens is that uh this comes only after you've tried it a couple of times. And yeah. uh yeah. the initial few times when you're procrastinating and you have to be very good at learning. that the first two times i compressed so much into 12 hours and then i failed the exam or i topped yes. the exam or whatever and yeah. that feedback loop has to be very good yeah if that works yeah. uh amrita why do you think we procrastinate I have a bunch of thoughts <laughs> go for it because like i said this has been a lifelong problem and i have put a lot of thought into it okay perfect so i think there's like a, a bunch of touch points number 1 is uh the value of what you're working towards yeah. like the perceived value of it lovely is it a I big goal is it a small goal that's number 1 yeah and i think number 2 which has been uh, which has played a huge role in my life is accountability hmm. whether it's something like for example is it something that i need to do by myself for myself or is it something that i need to do because my boss expects it by the end of this week Hmm. For me, extrinsic forces are much larger. As sad as that sounds, lovely. No, no, <laughs> that's much bigger than intrinsic. That is very intrinsic. relatable. Hmm. So, if I am I am being held accountable by somebody else, uh, especially somebody in a position of authority, hmm. it's you get very likely done. that I will deliver bang right. on time. Right. Versus if it's something that I'm doing for myself. even if it is work related but if it's just for myself yeah. i may like cut myself some slack yeah yeah that's true that happens very Correct. and uh yeah. i think that to a large extent uh, we all kind of know it and uh, which is why we outsource it right exactly we yeah. outsource uh, our discipline to yeah i mean while we're gym trainers and life coaches and um you know uh, ev- everything that requires discipline correct yeah, there is a there is a It's whole nice career to have a monitor yeah, yeah. there is an authority <laughs> like a class monitor involved. yes yeah. yes hmm okay that Very that cool. works works yeah. Yeah. so and yeah. also like the value of the person so apart from the value of the actual work the value of the person that you yeah. hold um, who's holding you responsible like so right. if it's someone you respect then you'll probably not progress in mm-hmm. but hmm yeah Yeah, I remember. Sanat, I remember the story you said about uh, how, uh, like, if there is somebody who is really punctual in your family, yeah, and if they expect you to show up at eight a.m., if you're all, yeah. you know, if you're I mean, all going they, for they a family trip, expect you correct. I mean, um, if somebody is punctual, then you are punctual around them. Yeah, oh. yeah. I mean, they don't even have to be explicit in the fact, I and mean, they don't have to tell you to come at eight. Yeah, you will probably be at there at eight. If if they are in a position of power, coming. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. So that's what that's what I'm saying. The, the the relative value that person has in your life. Right. Lovely. The idea of uh, value. So uh, now let's let's talk a little bit about that. What uh, what you just said, Amrita, about what is the value of a task? How do we calculate it? How how mm-hmm. how at I mean, we know that we do calculate it at some point. Like our brain does calculate it, but how does that happen? Uh, why is something valuable? Why is an exam valuable, or why is the social media valuable? Why is why why is one doing one thing more uh, easy? Why is the, why is there a hierarchy to things? Why is there a hierarchy to things? Such why a, is there why is there a ranking? 
such a nice way of putting it absolutely why Be- there is for sure because we are doing yeah. one thing above another but why in my head it's uh, a certain thing has certain value because the flip side of it is horrible like passing the exam is not yeah of high value but failing is horrible Lovely. so i don't want to it's the fear of the opposite yeah. yeah so it's like negative value which is also value yeah like either hope drives you or fear i think fear is definitely way bigger than lovely yes so, absolutely yeah that's that is a great way of putting it um pleasure and pain yeah yeah exactly. yeah so that is from an evolutionary sense that is where we came from mm-hmm. like uh, from the like the uh, uh, from animals to us everything got a value attached to it based on this principle of pleasure and pain is it going yeah. to help us survive okay. or, or is it going to kill us and whether or not is this going to survive help us or kill us there is a value attached to it which has hierarchy and then whether it is going to help us survive or kill us is a plus or a minus yeah. so a plus 100 is less than a minus 200 correct so a minus 200 will get more importance than a plus 100 because yeah, yeah because the number is more important and uh, the sign minus is just yeah. yeah correct yeah and the 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 negative thing so whenever we put a minus thing the that's like is- a Yeah, and then an additional. Um, I mean, it's just not just the number. Yes, so a then plus hundred is not equivalent to a minus. 100. Minus hundred because a minus hundred is bigger than a plus hundred. Because that minus means a uh, fear. So there is a th- you are losing actually a lot more. You could technically lose your life. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. To your Negative brain, yeah, everything yeah. is so, everything is yeah. like a threat to your life. Yeah. One more thing uh, that we need to talk about is that it's not just plus and minus. What do you think of the concept of time? The value of something with respect to time. Uh, does that does that make sense? Does that question make sense? Yeah. So, so um, something which is expected or um, or important in the short term seems to have more value than yes something which is important in the very long term uh, from an intuitive point of view. Intuitive. Probably, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not not realistically, but uh, so like a you, brain. You think probably think of it as more important. Yes. So uh, it, it makes sense for like survival also, right? Yeah, Because exactly. I need to address yeah. the threat or whatever sure. at hand, and then yeah. I'll think about yeah, like, months later. Yeah, we're twenty years down the line. I need to have children, and they need to have children, and um, spread my genes around. But Today, Today I need to what do I eat? Huh. Right now, Who will eat me? Who will eat me? Yeah. So I Correct. have to exactly. reply. Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, what? 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who texted you? Sorry. I mean, you have to have children. Give me the specific. Etc. Etc. But yeah, right but... now, if my crush has texted me, I am going to let go of the text and reply to him because it's a matter of survival for me right now. Oh my God! So that is text versus text, and there's like this <laughs> item. <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> 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 yeah why should okay that's a great way of putting it though like why is the textbook text less important than your crush's text they're just words after all but then hey don't <laughs> say that about him what <laughs> one has immediate uh immediate feedbacks. gratification yes no yeah. both don't know i exist so they're the same <laughs> Oh my god okay so one what you just said sanat i really want to draw one diagram uh because this is pretty cool i hope that everybody could see the uh everybody could see the screen so the idea is if this is time and this is a value of something then the closer you are so the less time gap there is to that thing the more value that thing has so the way your uh, your brain calculates it is that the closer you get to something the more valuable it is and then the further away you get uh your your the way your brain calculates it becomes uh yeah. like more and more and more distorted sort of sure. right and this what this is called so that it is called two things it is called as the present bias 
so it is a bias towards the present so whatever is here and now is much more important than what is you know coming say 10 years later yeah. or even one month later for that matter so mm-hmm. an exam one month later we know it is important but we don't know know it's important like we can't really calculate its importance yeah and that same exam once it is tomorrow so if, if it comes from here to here suddenly the value shoots up yeah Yeah. which is okay. sort of like our brains inner calculation gone wrong uh but that is how the brain does it and another more technical term for the same thing is called as hyperbolic discounting now the imp- hyperbola is just the uh, graph but then shape of the shape of the graph but discounting so this is the word that all research in procrastination uses that why do we discount future value mm. and so that is positive positive discounting so we count positivity more in the present and there is also negative discounting in which suppose studying for an exam is a painful process for you you're not enjoying it so much so yeah. that pain is much more today and we think that one month later it's not going to be that bad so that yeah. same pain of studying for an exam is also discounted but in a negative fashion in the future yeah. so we right. sort of push it uh, you know uh, how um like l- in how i met your mother how ted says i let future ted handle it mm. yeah. that that concept that i don't want to deal with this pain right now let 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 future me take care of this so that is yeah. sort of like negative discounting yeah now in social media uh it's the exact opposite because social media is never in the future correct it's not even like one minute later Yeah. Social media is always here In now abhi ha continuous constant. Yeah. yeah. Correct. And so every time you you and you know it's it's for sure there is no doubt you know for sure ki there is this whole resource of dopamine just lying there in your hands waiting for me to refresh. Yeah. One Correct. button, one click, one swipe that's one it. One scroll. Yeah. One yes. scroll and suddenly you are hit with so much dopamine and your you can't blame your brain can you you can blame only your brain no? because <laughs> isn't brain that where all this happens you can that's true but we but that's what we do we only blame our brain like as soon as we find ourselves doing this we just go blame 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 but there is such an inequality it's not fair it's not a it's not a level playing ground a history textbook for an exam cannot compete with this high level of constant attack of dopamine correct yeah correct. makes sense correct right so it's um so two things have to happen right either the dopamine level from this has to go down or the dopamine level of education has to go up has to yep. go up yes there is no other way it has to be one of these and right. social media is not going to get less less interesting for sure yeah yeah we haven't even started on virtual reality yet <laughs> yeah so education has to go up it has to up its game it will lose yeah. otherwise it's it, it's i mean there's no way it's not going it's to it's losing it's losing yeah, it's not going to yeah and there are like a couple of uh, organizations and education institutes that are trying to make learning more fun correct more close to real life and less uh, textbook key correct like i right. think khan academy and all that like making yeah. making animated videos I mean, and yeah yeah i mean or they are even utilizing social media for learning yeah, yeah. which is yeah gamifying is learning correct that, that yes works. exactly yes yes absolutely so all of that means that only like just hacking your brain's inner mm-hmm. system the same yeah. way that social media did correct that's what they did right they had a group meeting and said how can we hack the shit out of this brain network this dopamine network uh, i i have a doubt here just hmm. popped in my head in one of your earlier streams you'd said that when stress is attached to a certain thing yeah. it's more likely that you'll remember it like Correct. right 
in that case, isn't it better that I do last minute studies and I try to mug it up or learn yeah. it in stress versus making it enjoyable with <laughs> across two months? Yeah, that is so. That is one way you can do it, and it sort of depends on how do you want to do it, because the it also depends on what is that stress. So right now, the stress you are putting on is the exam stress. Correct. But then that means that the importance of you learning that thing is not much. Okay. The stress is you passing that exam. Which so is the, okay, right? I no. Mean. Like, so that's what it, it is okay. But then your, uh, your priority matters. Yeah, but that's not the point of the education. I mean, the exam is just a, uh, just a means of assessment exactly. and not, not Very the flawed one, goal. Right? Yeah. Okay. So the ideal stress of learning should be the difficulty of understanding that subject. So that difficulty should be just outside your reach so that you almost yeah. understand, but you can't. So then you are in that zone of curiosity. Yeah. So yeah. like, oh, I want to know, I want to know. Whereas exam gives you a very different stress. So what you are studying doesn't make any difference when you are you know, studying for an exam. All that matters is that you pass. Yeah. So, uh, but what you said, so supposing that there is an exam here, and then the value is like very low and you're not studying at all. And then as the exam comes closer and closer and closer to you, so this is you, as it comes, so it's almost as if there is like a scale and uh, till here, uh, social media is like really winning. Like mm -hmm. the value of social media is much more than the value of the exam. Okay. And at some point it sort of crosses a yeah, yeah. Limit. and then this just comes becomes more important and then yeah. suddenly you don't want to open uh, Facebook yeah. anymore and okay. yeah. then everything suddenly shifts yeah correct and, and naturally and naturally and here you have all that panic and uh, cramming all night and you know sitting self studying all night self hatred <laughs> and why did I do this and <laughs> and this is Agli not I won't do please this time pass it <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, so yeah. this is where everybody is religious. Superstition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I flick on the light seven times before I leave the room, then maybe if I pass, then it's yeah. happening every exam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, So when I think of investments, like financial and all that, so it's almost like social media is your... Uh, fixed daily income like you don't have to look here and there it's a very comfortable thing you know it's there you can just uh, show up take your daily dose and be happy it's not going to give you any big benefit it's not going to give you like this huge uh, sum at the end of an investment nothing like that yeah. but you are happy on a day-to-day -day basis and you are spending it also and it's over and it's not like you're investing in a startup where, you know, after 10 years, you'll get a big reward or anything, but you are happy on a day to day basis. I mean, it's sort of like, I mean, it's a random thing, but I just thought. Yeah, I mean, more than more than your daily income, like the um, a better parallel will be daily trading. So that, that is the kind of thing that gives people who do it kicks, like when mm. they, they buy something today and sell something yeah. tomorrow and gain one or two rupees per share in yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is the kind of thing that will give you instant gratis gratification, right. whereas usually people know that long-term investments are always um, higher The more paying. sensible. Yeah. 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 I mean, True. higher paying in the long run, mm. where, where you just buy something, sit on it and don't do anything. So day trading so is it, the social media of finance. Finance, wow. yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys. <laughs> <We> have, <laughs> <laughs> this these live streams go on such a meta level. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about uh, neuroscience of procrastination. Yes, yeah. let's do this. That's what yeah? we're here for. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so we have actually this conversation has been really great because a large part of it is already explained but uh welcome yes thanks amrita yeah god don't encourage this <laughs> now um uh, i know that you guys have seen this before but uh i'm just going to explain it once more the basic four lobes which is like there is a frontal lobe here 
and uh, behind that there is a parietal lobe and the frontal lobe is the part that does all the thinking the parietal lobe is sort of where all your three-dimensional spatial recognition is happening and you have the occipital lobe in pink where you are seeing and the green one is called as a temporal lobe and that is where all the hearing happens and your limbic system is there so that's where your memory is stored uh, sorry the limbic system is where all your emotions happen. emotions and the hippocampus where your memory is stored so the important part so the important aspects of the brain to remember for procrastination is one your frontal lobe and in the frontal lobe the part of the frontal lobe that is in the front is called as the prefrontal cortex and within the prefrontal cortex the part that is absolutely in the front is called as the frontopolar so we are going to call it f and f for now stands for future and this is the part of the brain that thinks about the future in a okay. very simple way so this is the part of the brain that tries to take in all your experiences and oh my hang on so i think my screen is cropped a little all right i hope that is better uh, the F area, the frontopolar area, which is at, at the absolute tip, almost like behind your forehead, is the part of the brain that looks to the future. And that is very interesting to me how that is where the third eye is supposed to be yeah, in. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Yeah, and it's really interesting because uh, maybe there are correlations there. Anyway, from here, so this is the part that helps your brain plan aage kya karna hai. This is the part of the brain that helps you uh, think about consequences. Like risk assessment and all of that. Happens. Risk assessment. Decisions. Decision making. Anything that... So what you are doing now, isko aage kaise leke jana? So what are the probabilities? What are the possible okay. consequences of my actions after one day, one year, two years, hundred years? All of that sort of happens here not just here but this is one of the main areas now the part of the brain that is all about abhi kya chahiye abhi what what am i what do i want now what am i afraid of now is in the limbic system so the limbic system is the most is like the primitive part so all the animals also had it right rats had it every rodents everyone so this is the part of the brain that talks about what is good for me now is is this going to kill me is this going to save me absolutely in the moment and decisions are also very in the moment nothing for the future it doesn't matter survival driven survival driven absolutely yeah. so basically food sex and uh don't die these are the three basic things and limbic system sort of controls all these three things and what is very interesting is that between these two areas is this whole part of the brain like it covers multiple areas that is responsible for present awareness which is basically what we say ki be here here and now mm. and this is also called as default mode network so i'm not going to go too deep into all the areas in this but there are like three or four areas that all work together to mm -hmm. give you a sense of main kaun hu main kaha hu abhi kya ho raha hai what is around me right now what do i want right now and this is what connects these two parts so this is what connects yeah. what i want right now to aage kya hoga so it is literally like if you stretch your brain you are looking at time so future now and past so past is in the hippocampus which is where all the memories are stored so right. you are literally stretching time through the brain yeah and okay now i'm going to draw it again so that you can make it less complicated so this is future this is past and this is now this whole area is now and 
here there is a place called let's just call it v it's in the frontal lobe okay. and v is the area that is responsible for value okay. so all value based decisions now think of what this means okay whatever is happening now abhi kya ho raha hai mere samne cake pada hua hai how valuable is that cake we will decide uh abhi there is a so whether i want to eat that cake or not that instinctive pleasure and all limbic may decide ho gaya but we will decide how much how much is that value how much is this valuable and v okay. is connected to both f so with the future and to here and now and to the past right. so what all... is the actual name of v sorry it is so it is called ventromedial prefrontal cortex so it's part of the prefrontal cortex mm. and mm. medial means under and ventral means sort of niche so ventromedial okay. prefrontal cortex and it is closely connected to everything so all parts of the brain are closely connected to everything but v is where the value yeah. system is decided and there is no, and yeah it's yeah. getting inputs from all of you, all of these everything everything yeah. and it it manages the value of everything you can think of yeah so for example mm, if somebody punches you uh how you should react to it depends very much on who is punching you right so the value right. of a punch correct right. is there uh somebody gives you 100 bucks how valuable is that 100 bucks depends on your overall context yep right that is decided there so you know i mean it's connected to everything but sure that whole idea comes from yeah. here right so uh the okay now let's go back to procrastination how does this deal with it so in this context now coming back to everything you said uh amrita about when you are procrastinating you are basically choosing something of more value over something of less value perceived you can value yeah yeah of perceived value yeah. you can see how much of the brain is given for present value got it yeah so it's almost like this part this little chintu part is really struggling to remind this whole rest of this area ki aage ke bare mein socho kal ke bare mein socho yeah yeah it's it um uh, that's what i said that's what i meant when i said it's just unfair it's just it <laughs> so much of my brain is working towards uh, making me want to scroll through instagram it's not my fault <laughs> it's not your fault it is not your fault because mummy meri galti nahi thi and what is incredible is that with this much we managed to get so much done yeah yeah because this is where all of this came from like the fact that we managed to get our careers in place we managed to plan our insurance and we bought a car and we paid off loans and all of that happened yeah. because of this one area constantly reminding us that you know yeah kaam karo yeah, there is correct. there is the future there is the it's not that just is the monitor to the brain this like, is the monitor well, yes yeah. this is the monitor this is the monitor this is the one that looks towards the future and uh, i mean so the gym instructor and that's the yeah so this actually know, yeah. this actually doesn't uh this is not very strict so your front sure. frontopolar just tells you ki acha listen okay. ye hai this is good for you no? this yeah. is good for you and it has to convince this v area correct because the v area will give it value ki acha because the frontopolar will give you a lot of future options yeah but your v area will say ki acha isme se i will give this much value to this this much value to this this much value to this and so right. this is more important and okay. how you give that value de- depends on who you are sure and 
now this is and context correct right? and that sort of that who you are is sort of here but that is a different uh, discussion but it's all connected in this area and then that is how once and once you ascribe value to things it happens just like you said ye jyada valuable hai very cool ye kam valuable hai interesting yeah and then i will do the more so it's like that thing. it's like that lady the lady with justice who is constantly having to weigh one thing over the other and then yeah <laughs> uh, go yeah. towards one side act on the act on whatever is oh wow heavy. yeah can someone draw draw like uh the brain in that thing like something like this like you value the weighing the two sides of the brain like the front and the back but yeah that is that is pretty much what happens in the brain right. when uh, when we try to uh think about what to do and it's it's literally like so the frontopolar sees the future right so that f area uh sees the future and so how did people find out that the vmpfc gives value interesting so it's a lot of it happens when um, there is a damage yeah sure to that area so, so what happens if that area is damaged so the uh they have less of so the value system gets screwed up so they don't know uh, okay so there is this thing called game theory yeah so in game theory you have a lot of um different experiments to see how how much one would value something and how much one would think about what other people are thinking about and okay. so on so all these things came from game theory experiments in patients who had damages to these areas and so people with damages to the v area will have difficulty in calculating kitna dena chahiye kitna lena chahiye and oh. so that is how they kind of concluded these Very things cool. and of course i mean yeah it will keep evolving our knowledge yeah, of sure. this but, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah now with functional mri and things you'll correct. probably exactly uh, get uh, even better more. anatomical idea yeah <laughs> so somebody said game theory fucked my semester i have okay oh. what i mean i really he's sure. given it less value than <laughs> it demanded yeah attack press f to pay respect <laughs> yes f is for the future <laughs> and what is very very cool is that uh, when you start the more you let your uh, this part control your decisions you are actually not giving your this part enough practice sure mm -hmm. and so in your life so right from childhood if you are used to letting your limbic and your here and now part of your brain take decisions when you try to think about the future when you try to take decisions of what will i do in 5 years or where do you see yourself in 5 years this is a common question uh you're not you'll just make something up because you're not very good at Is that what unambitious is? Uh, I'm not sure if we can because ambition uh, is still a limbic thing because everybody wants power and everybody wants greatness and like you know. But to have a very clear idea of where I'm going, mm -hmm. so to have a very clear plan of okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, and have like a very uh, proper thing of uh, like a sequence of events. that happens here and if you're not giving this part enough practice or basically your pfc yeah. enough practice mm -hmm. naturally in that uh, time graph the closer it comes the more it is getting shifted from your frontopolar to your here yeah. and now network yeah and what these people will find is that oh my present network is really good at handling things right because it has had more practice so right. they will fall into that loop of okay let it come closer because i'm not able to handle things when it is too far away because my prefrontal cortex isn't really working well and it happens sure. it works much better when it is close by i sit of stress me kaam karti hu massive stress exactly right. and there But are there people are some, who do that. then there are some yeah. things where you can't really do 
things in the present. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Okay. And in those places, there will be problems. I have another question here. Yeah. Yeah. When you say the F part uh, sees the future, how far into the future are we referring? There is nothing like that. So it does like, for example, does gambling also then involve like I'm talking about actual real time gambling, does that involve the F part? Because the next throw of the dice is mm -hmm. also future. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so gambling has a the same part uh -huh. as gambling has a lot of, um, you know, different uh, connotations uh, because gambling is very inherently linked with your limbic system. Exactly. It's also and, a here and now, but it's also correct. like trying to risk assess and, you know, yeah. Think about how much to put. And right. the problem is anything that has too much dopamine involved will prevent your prefrontal cortex from thinking rationally. So you are not, it. It, it actually comes in the way. Same thing as we spoke of in love. So when you are just falling in love, you are not the greatest risk assessment person. You will probably over count your... Let me stop making this personal to that. Okay, this is too much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool. I mean, you are. <laughs> I'm getting strong Abish vibes. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm filling in for him. <laughs> yeah, even he takes the most surprising things personally. <laughs> but uh, this is yeah, uh, that is sort of how delaying or rather procrastinating becomes a part of your personality. And I, I think at some level we all do it to different extents simply because this is the better equipped part like it has had like so many millions of years of head start that it is just better yeah. at calculating it is better at managing all those things and why should we put our poor prefrontal cortex through so much of stress yeah. when you already have it okay so how do you make how do you give practice to the uh, something which looks at the future interesting uh, the only thing that I can, uh, how do you think? Like, do you do you feel like there's an instinctive answer? Like plan, I mean, yeah, that's more. Of, yeah, practice it. Plan more and more, yeah. But I mean, just yeah. If I may, planning is part of it, right? If you like, you're planning, but then if you don't stick to the plan, hmm. then it makes no sense. I could make a great timetable, so I am. Exercising the part of my brain that can see into the future and that can plan, but eventually, if I don't follow the plan, right? Then and if you don't follow the plan, and then you are going back to your limbic system yeah. again, and you are exactly. in that same loop. So the only way is to plan and get success, and attach dopamine to your to the plan prefrontal okay. cortex. To make right. short-term plans, basically. Exactly. That that lovely. That perfectly brings us to the next last bit. Ki abhi kare kya? What do you do about it? How do you how do you solve the procrastination problem? If it's not a problem, actually, that's step one. Let's stop calling it a problem. I think we yeah. have established. Hey, you tell my mama that, okay? <laughs> she thinks it's a problem. It. No, but we have established that it we it's not our fault, really. Yeah. This whole this whole stream has been one long way of convincing myself that listen, <laughs> guys. <laughs> and the more people I convince, the more, the more comfortable I am. Yeah, it's nice. Please continue. <laughs> yes. How do you solve it? What do you do now? How do you get around this problem? Oh, uh, shit. How do you get around this issue? How do you stop procrastinating? Amrita? Um, How do I you do it? This is... I don't. What makes you think I'm successful? Excuse because, me. no, because you do a lot of things. And you have managed yeah, to do you them. You have a night job and things. Yeah. That's the hack, right? I have like three interesting things. I, I like yeah. my job. Like I like what I do. Mm. So that's interesting to me. I dance and I make art. And all three of these things I genuinely enjoy. So when I'm doing one thing to procrastinate the two other things, I'm not procrastinating at all. Lovely. I'm just doing the third thing. I love that. That's a hack that I found out. Uh, Excellent. For the lockdown. Excellent. Can I just write that down? Hold on. I really love that. Okay. So, uh, what did you do? What is your hack exactly? I pick a X number of things that I like. In my case, three things that I genuinely like and enjoy doing in the process without Lovely. having an end goal. I enjoy the process of it. 
Correct. So hack your distraction. You are going to get distracted anyway. You yeah. might as well choose in might advance well. uh, what you are going to get distracted by. So choose your procrastination. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. But also, I want to point out here that it, for example, the latest thing I picked up was trying to learn the ukulele. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew that I will have some sort of dopamine hit and that I will get some success because I have a basic sense of rhythm and music. Sure. Like I wouldn't have picked up, a, say, a sitar or something like that because mm. I would not have been able to ha. pick it up that fast or you know learn it that quick. So I did pick something up that was easy to learn, but also like the enough amount of challenge. Lovely. So even better. So you chose your procrastination to make sure that you do get a dopamine hit very quickly. Yes, I'm achieved that. Yeah. Excellent. No, this is such a like an instinctively such a sensible thing to do. And uh, I have one more thing to say about choosing your procrastination. You should ideally pick things that are additive. So my most uh, like my biggest problem with our current choices of distraction is that you spend three hours on Facebook and then you spend three hours tomorrow and then you spend three hours next week and today's three hours make no difference to next week's three hours. Yeah. So if you're going to pick up a distraction pick up something that gets added on top of each other because anything will uh, build up to something great if you keep doing it. So sure. ukulele ho, writing a book ho, it doesn't matter really. Yeah. Uh, Sanat, what are your hacks? Yeah. So um, making a timetable. Okay. Mm, Excellent. That that's my major hack on. How do you think that works? So at least I have it in front of me of what I am supposed to do. Mm-hmm. It defines things yeah. and it's easier to procrastinate if I don't even know the uh, scope and the volume of yeah. things that I am supposed to do. Huh. So, so yeah, correct. Okay. So you, you, have, you have to acknowledge your tasks all the time, like in it's in front of you. Correct. And uh, yeah. And then uh, when I have a timetable and I get things done, then you I get the sort of short term happiness that I've done something which was done meant for today. Rather, Excellent. if I have to read an entire textbook in a month, yeah. um, I get the happiness that I've read two chapters today. That Lovely. So there are there are two things actually. So you have, there are two hacks that you did. Uh, one is that instead of the long term dopamine kick in the end, okay. you cut it down into small, yeah. small pieces yeah. and made it so that so that every yeah. day you're getting a little bit. Every day I have a glass of dopamine. Yes. Rather than binge on it. Binge on it later and throw up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and another thing is this this aspect, this time perception aspect, because like I said, we are not really good at calculating time. So we are much better at being aware of the present and the minute you go into the future, it sort of starts blurring like Yeah, like I sleep for five minutes and becomes more abstract. No, what is the difference between two years into the future and three years into the future? Like a year is a long time when you're living it. But in the future, like 2023 and 2024 are like, huh? It's like almost one, one day apart. Yeah. Right. You can't, you can't feel the year. So yeah. if, and you know that, so if you know that, then one thing you can do is with a timetable, you could cut down your units of time. Yeah. So instead of saying that I have one month to do this, say I have one hour to one, do this. One hour to do something smaller. Smaller. And similarly, uh, just like how you perceive of breaks and dopamine also in large units of time, you don't need to do that because dopamine is dopamine. So if you have half an hour study session and five minute of break, uh, yeah, you it is still dopamine. You will still feel that pleasure as opposed to one day of studying and then one day of break. Okay. Right. So then your efficiency is much more if you cut it down into smaller pieces. And uh, 
Yeah. So what about five minutes of studying and two hours of break? <laughs> if you can pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> If, that's what usually happens. So. Yes, but are you aware of it? <laughs> if you are, if you are okay with it, then great. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing. So that's these are like three awesome things. So one is uh, pick your distraction, yeah. hack your distraction, hack your time perception, hack your dopamine uh, input. So basically, small small doses. So th- here you are actually making it like social media. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're converting your basic job into social media. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one thing I thought of was how you can gamify yourself. Like you, uh, Amrita, you mentioned the gamification at the start. Of education. Education. Yeah. So you can do that for everything. So what are the main characteristics of games? Like when you play game. Lovely. awesome competition huge huge point so we normally don't like to talk about competition it's like a negative yeah. thing but uh, for the brain evolutionarily competition is everything because resources are limited yeah you need to fight with the remaining tribes to get that right. you know remaining food whatever it is and fight for your mate fight for everything basically yeah So that whole limbic part, the piche ka everything, is wired for competition. So you don't need to make it like negative competition, but if nothing else, compete with yourself. If you're not comfortable right. competing with anyone else, time yourself. Like say that I finish one chapter in one day versus two days or whatever. But gamification. And second is uh, investment and reward. I think. So. Yeah. So one is this uh, like small doses of dopamine. dopamine. Correct. Go- in games every small thing you get a reward so if yeah. you manage to make a system of working where every small thing does give you a reward that doesn't distract you actually makes you do it more yep. then that's what social media does right like you get points and everything yeah and uh, the last thing is guilt because that is just um uh, counterintuitive So that yeah. last, the last point of uh, how to deal with procrastination is how you can just acknowledge it. So just you know, acknowledge yeah. procrastination. And harness your guilt. Harness it. Like, be aware that the odds were always against you. <laughs> There is <laughs> the idea of planning for your future is evolutionarily a very very recent phenomenon, and uh, yeah, dude, it's fine. It's I am a, a potato. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, and also, we are so sure, like, right? So we are so sure that the what this part of your brain is saying, this F part of your brain is saying, is what is good for you. Yeah. Yeah. And what this part of the saying, this part of the brain is saying, is bad. Why are you so sure? it so for example this part of the brain is saying that there is a history te- history exam in one month and you need to study for it and this part of the brain is saying that let us we for this part of the brain you are still in the jungle you, yeah. they don't even know that there is a history exam history textbook yeah so in right. the jungle it's all about look around hmm. what is happening you know what is behind that tree what is what is going to attack you and what is moving there and what is moving usually is your instagram feed notifications so yeah. look there what is there is there something interesting going on is there something valuable going on no, so no. as far as the limbic system is concerned it is just picking up information and your pfc is also telling you to pick up information but different information but yeah now how do we know which one is more important really i mean really really so the present information is very important for you for current survival it's yeah. also tangible right you can see it and what? you know it's yeah. there whatever the, present. the current yeah the present yeah what yeah. you are foreseeing is not is tangible abstract. yet you are yeah. you are assuming that if i put x amount of effort then yeah. i will get y results yes so it may or may not happen it may or may you, not you happen. probably think it's good because it's still imaginary right if i do all these things right yeah. the result will be good as yeah. per my train of thought hmm. that's why probably it always seems 
future always seems brighter <laughs> if you do the right things obviously the right things will yeah, happen the oh promise my god <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you and what are you saying <laughs> your mom is like dekho kya kya badi baatein kar rahi hai badi baatein to i do anyway but just like i'm having realizations as <laughs> 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 like the future seems bright only because it's an imagination. That's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> nothing to do with your skills. Yeah, you're oh, you're o- overselling yourself. You're like the car salesman. You're like, no, no, take it, take it. It will go. Ten years will go. No. So the point is that if you are procrastinating, that means that. now let us let us not let us stop dividing you into like frontal and uh, limbic and all if this is you which mm. it is sort of mm. at some level then that means that overall like this plus this you are not convinced that yeah. this is more important for whatever reason correct right. you are not convinced that this is more important you think like the overall right. part of you yeah Correct. So I mean, it's heavier in the scale. When the now is heavier in the scale than your progression. Correct. So yeah. then that means that there is a small part of you that is feeling guilty about it, but then the majority wins, right? Correct. The majority yeah. thinks that this is more important. So if you are procrastinating, rather than you know start beating yourself up, I think it's important yeah. to know what exactly do you feel feel. like what yeah. do you value really i mean yeah. not what your teachers want you to value and all of that what do you yeah. value really yeah and procrastination helps you in deciding what's really important for you correct and that's an important uh, discussion to have with yourself right because otherwise yeah. you're just doing stuff that other people want you to do right mm. okay. so i think is there anything else that we can do because that's all that i got I have a bunch of questions. Actually. Bolo. Come prepared. Okay, so one second. Now I'm going to just look at what people have been saying. Yeah. And because this yes. conversation was so like it just went on a roll, and I, uh, you know, I couldn't even uh, look at what uh, this chat was saying. So I'm sorry about that chat. Uh, wait, why can't I see this? Hmm. Da da da. All right. Let's go all the way to the top. How much did the Latin guys procrastinate? Uh, Anarkali, thank you so much. So people have really enjoyed it. So I'm very, very, very grateful to both of you. Thank you for coming on. This was a thank really fun that. conversation. This was yeah, it was yes, very yeah. nice. Yes, I'm very happy with this. Uh, Ayush, thank you so much. Uh, uh pratik uh, very intuitive. I think he meant uh, very intuitive was probably for the. Uh, the frontopolar and the limbic and how they uh, analyze time so neuroscience of time is like this whole so this was just like an introduction to that but how our brain perceives time is extremely fascinating so at some point maybe we could talk yeah. about that and they uh, won the nobel for that no mm, last year yeah last or two years uh, 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 yeah. year before that yeah. yeah and like the whole chronological like uh, yeah, all your circadian rhythm and like how rhythms, all the yeah. different clocks the clocks yeah. in your brain that could be a correct. great topic yeah. all right um wow there are a lot of questions this is why i should take questions in the middle uh yeah uh nothing changes until it changes so there is a lot of chat that is going on within within chat yeah people are answering to it my friends other. are answering questions yes uh striking <laughs> of things i think that we covered everything uh, stop watching this stream and start studying people are telling each other <laughs> Yes, yeah, stop procrastinating while learning stop about. Right. This, this is learning. So you're you're not procrastinating. You're just doing something that's that's yeah. also valuable. Okay, yes, guys. exactly. Take a chill pill, guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, in spiritual leaders, Aditya's asked in spiritual leaders, what happens to V and F areas? That's a whole other discussion. I think we have to take have that you? differently. Yeah, I know. Uh, the brain diagram is so much like seesaw, and being in the present is like in that balanced state. Future and past being the end slides, sort of, yeah, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Like you are, you're. That's an interesting way of putting it. Sort, sort of mm-hmm. like you're trying yeah. to balance the future uh, okay. and past. Yeah. yeah, interesting. All right. Um, 
Heisenberg primitive humans were are not in as comfortable position as us, therefore they cannot procrastinate. My uncle, absolutely. So, I think the more into the jungle you go, the more you have to be here and now. Like you can, you can't yeah. afford to think too much about the future yeah. because you're not sure. Yeah. So, so, Everything that the prefrontal cortex does is probably discretionary and a luxury. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so, a luxury. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you you're not sure. Like you think that two years ke baad, but then a tiger yeah. eats you. Yeah, I don't survive. <laughs> exactly. Then what's the point? I mean, yeah, all, all of this is uh, banking on the fact that we we've, we've survived. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's a moo point. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it's a moo point. It's moo. <laughs> Channeling your inner joy. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a cow's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, it's in a way, if you think about it, society has let us, uh, uh, you know, evolve to a point like give us enough safety to yes. think so yes. far ahead. Yeah. So yeah. it is society's fault that we are procrastinating. Everything is. I love it. Everything is. <laughs> like yeah. Just turn it right back around. So the next time somebody tells you, "Are you procrastinating?" You could be like, "It's your." Yeah, I, re- I read this post on Instagram or somewhere that you know people are being born and then going to school and then growing up and getting a job and getting married. What if I wanted to be a duck? What if I didn't want to do all of these things? <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. all I wanted was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so uh, now. Tell me, uh, Amrita, you had questions. Okay. Yeah. So there's one thing that I've read a lot hmm. uh, about procrastination is that perfectionists are very likely uh, to be procrastinators because okay. oh. the anxiety and fear of not being able to do something perfectly stops you from trying it all together. Mm-hmm. So you don't address it at all and you just keep procrastinating. Oh wow, really? I mean, that sounds a little counterintuitive yeah. to what one would have thought of as perfection. No, so, uh, right? just keeping it, on doing doing it all throughout. No, the thing is, the deal with perfection is, and, and I'm not trying to boast, but this is something that I've felt mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. That if I don't get it right in the first go, if I face even a little bit of failure, it just right. sets me back a lot more. So if I yeah. don't try it at all, I convince myself saying, "Ki okay, I couldn't do X, Y, Z because I didn't right. try, right. not because right. I'm not good." Right. Which is why a lot of people who are perfectionists end up uh, being labeled as lazy or procrastinators hmm. because they're not doing it. Whereas it's mostly the fear of not getting it right. That's an interesting. Uh, yeah, so that's what I thought about that, I want. You know. uh, Sanat, do you do you want to do you want to say anything for this? The so the idea of so what I feel is that our view on failure is inherently flawed. Like I think that uh, when we talk of perfection, first of all, perfection is a hypothetical construct. Agreed. Because agreed. it is never going to be there. Perfection is when all of society tells you, "Oh, this is perfect." You say it's perfect, but then there is always a next level for everything. Yes. Like sure. nothing has a final line. So uh, it's when you draw the line. One, and second is failure is a construct because the whole idea of failure, it, it, as if it is. Against perfection is such a flawed concept because it's not binary. No, forget binary. Failure is exactly how you become perfect, right? So if if you haven't failed, that means you haven't learned, and so by definition, you haven't reached that next level of perfection. Yeah. So I mean, for me, it's um, like right ulta. You I must get, fail. I get that. I mean, I yeah. get what you're explaining. Right? Yeah. In what you're saying is more from like a philosophy <laughs> world view kind sure. of place. I am talking about like real life stuff. For example, <laughs> I have always been expected to be a 90 plus student, yeah. right? Correct. Now, for, and if I pick up and if I have a new subject in the next, for example, I've just gone to the ninth grade and I have a new subject, and then if it's something new that I'm learning, um, I am since it's expected out of me to be an A grader. Hmm. The fear that this new sub in this new subject I may get like an eighty five or an eighty eight. Even that's a lot because it's not ninety plus. So yeah. it's just easier for me to think: What if I don't take this subject hmm. and instead just take something that I already know hmm. that I'm good at, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, I this mean, is... is there a way to hack that? 
Uh, or you just have to be okay with failure. Or tell your parents that it's okay too. You know, li- literally, I think that it 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 should be like that because uh, you do learn uh, because and failure doesn't have to be at a big stage. So the stage yeah. doesn't really yeah. matter. But then uh, the fear of failure comes so much in your way that yeah. uh, I think that fear of failure is doing more harm than the failure itself because yeah. uh, failure to like it's on everyday basis, right? Like you just. Uh, Correct. It doesn't really matter who you're failing yeah. in front of. Uh, just and also highly relative. Like for you just said that eighty eight was a failure. Yeah. So yes, so I mean, correct. I mean, so th- that's the thing. Is that you have a you have some sort of benchmark, and then there's such a huge difference between ninety two and eighty eight, and there's no difference between uh, eighty eight and eighty four, for example. Mm. When yeah. the yeah. actual absolute difference is the same. So. Yeah. yeah. It's just very I, artificial. It's super arbitrary. Like it's Correct, yeah. Mama. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's again like the value, right? So it's yeah. almost as if if you look at all of society, then society also tries to do this. Like they also try to put value on things, like how much right. is this and how much, is, which is fine. Like society is also learning, which is all right. Like you can't blame blame them. But you have to play some sort of value for like. Countries and like sure. Yeah, we can't just yeah. all be in one arbitrary bubble. Yeah. So you're not doing Correct. It. But then you place value knowing it's arbitrary. Yeah. Right? So it and it is constantly shifting. Exactly. So ninety percent doesn't mean anything because like I think I remember when I was in school, ninety percent was like the top, and now ninety percent means like padai kiya ki nahi tune because it's like ninety seven and all is the big uh, is the, like the top, uh, and I don't know, like I don't know what to. Yeah. It's just changing scales. Correct. So, मेरी गलती नहीं है. बिल्कुल नहीं. बिल्कुल नहीं वो यो. It's never. As long as you learn, that's the only thing. I mean, all of us. Like that's 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 how I feel. It's true for it holds for all of us. And uh, also, how it doesn't matter what you are learning. Yeah. Like that is also very arbitrary. For sure. Like earlier, so there is a reason why engineers and doctors were considered as highly, like a wanted thing. Because there was a time when uh, medicine and infrastructure were the most in, like that is what society needed the most. So it's like Maslow's triangle, right? Pyramid. So if your basic needs are not taken care of, then arts yeah. and all come very later. But yeah. now society has reached a le- level where they can appreciate uh, movie design and they can appreciate you know modern art and whatever. So now, uh, I mean, they've always appreciated, but it was for an elite group. And now the audience is getting much, much more bigger because more yeah. and more people are getting exposed to that. So now suddenly you don't need to be a doctor or engineer. Now you can mm-hmm. be a lot more. Uh, you know, you have yeah. a lot more options. So yeah. Anyway, like this is very far away from procrastination, but yeah. <laughs> I have another question. Okay. Uh, in the brain, is procrastination in children and adult different in any way? Wow, uh, that's an awesome question, actually. Uh, so, in children, the way children perceive time and value are uh, not the same as, especially okay. time. Uh, like value, fir be. So, okay. Uh, basically, you can think of it as evolution happening in a lifetime. So, you you are born in the limbic, and then you grow towards the f- uh, PFC. So at some level you reach the PFC, and then at that point you start behaving like a grown up. And at some people it's like nine years old. Some people it's like nineteen. Some people it's twenty nine. I don't know. Depends. But then, sometimes it's never. Sometimes it's never. There are people who go through their whole life in living a limbic yeah, life. Yeah. And yeah, I know a couple of them. <laughs> this is not a personal attack. I repeat, this is not. This is attack after attack. <laughs> this was an attack, Amrita. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I can't follow the chat. They are they are just on another. I think you don't have to because they're having a conversation. Exactly. I mean, we are just a great time. People are exciting. Like, like, let's blame society. Y'all uh, try reading Atomic Habits. Oh, Atomic Habits is a good read actually. Mm. Uh, check out Eat That Frog. I don't even know what context this is, Pranav. I'm sorry. I what? Check out what? <laughs> Eat That Eat. Frog. Um, I'll write that down. <laughs> why? <laughs> It might be an interesting. Thing do you do you even know what it is? It could be a book. No. It could be a, a cartoon. It could be a anime. Sounds 
sounds interesting okay fine go eat that frog fine <laughs> Uh, Aditya said, I, "I am doing MBBS, but I love maths. Am I in the wrong profession? I don't think there is such a thing as wrong profession." Doctor said, "That is making everybody question their life." <laughs> so, doctor said, "That should not. I mean, he's um, yeah. I'm doing anything but in, medicine. I mean, right yeah. Now. I mean, he's showing that somebody who's done medicine can do these things. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, eat that frog is a book. Ah, so, good. Good." No, you can. I shall. Yes. <laughs> order it. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Pranav. Pranav said. Pranav, uh, yes. Uh, Shaurav Sharma said, "Eat that frog" is a book. Uh, okay. All right. Next is neuroscience of failure. Hey, that's not a bad idea, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like learning to learn me. Like failure is such a, such an important yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's talk about failure next time. Failure is great. Yeah. Hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, I mean, I I would love to call Amrita. I mean, if she's not, she if she stops taking things, I'll let you know. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> failure is definitely going to be a personal attack. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so I've never had it, but I'm majorly oh. afraid of it. So yes. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, so you did you guys notice that? flex it just it's very subtle it is yeah. very subtle i just spoke about just... how i've never <laughs> attempted anything that could cause failure yeah heisenberg says i don't try new things a lot it no no please you are doing time. like four things at once yeah. what do you, you say you just got a ukulele yeah, okay, yeah. whatever <laughs> um all right uh, i think that everybody enjoyed it the so the yeah, stream will be uh, the stream will be uploaded obviously and uh, what i'm thinking of doing is uh, one i'm trying to make summary videos so just like cutting although in this video i honestly don't think i don't know what i can I cut i was just about to tell you that since you were looking for solutions here the last list that you made of hacks to not yeah. procrastinate it should definitely be a separate yeah, yeah 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 i i will so i'll put out separate videos of that i can even so i can just sort of break it into parts and upload them as separate videos which would be simple because this whole conversation was awesome i don't feel like cutting anything uh especially all the personal attacks i really <laughs> loved it <laughs> yeah. contact the lawyer uh yes <laughs> and also i'm i'm thinking of doing uh converting these videos into podcasts because a couple of people have said a lot of people have said actually that uh, they don't want to listen like they want to listen to no, it while yeah while procrastinating other things yeah. so yeah i think that will be awesome i'll try and do that i'll figure out how to do that Uh, yeah. Sanat, thank you so much. Amrita, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I it had was, a great time. Yes, it was yes. awesome having Lots you guys. Lots of learning. Lots of learning. Yes. All right, Chad. Thank you so much for being such a lovely group to talk to. I shall see thank you. Thank you so much for having your own group and ignoring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shall. You were super close, completely. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll see you all later. You can continue the talk. I mean, I would have loved to be a part of this conversation, but I have no idea where to join in. Also, actually, just, yeah. I mean, sensory mot- motor OCD will be great. I don't, I don't know where they are. Not really. <laughs> all right, chalo. I'll see you all. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.